Hello, and welcome to Ninja Bunny Gaming. Today, I will be going over how to use the Petroglyph Map Editor. Right here. If you don't know what that is, that's the Map Editor for Star Wars Empire War that allows you to make custom maps for skirmish battles. Alright. So, first thing you're going to have to do is download this. Now, you might be wondering, where do I download it from? Well, actually, I have a link on my website to another website where you can download it from. So, in the mods and more, scroll down to the bottom. So, click here for Map Editor. And then you'll come to this website, Modbull, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, but anyways, you see this section and you're going to click this download link. Now, I don't actually need it, so we can just cancel that. Alright, so... So then once you install it, which I imagine most of you can probably get through a standard installation process, it does download the installer. You will end up with these four things. You will end up with the Patriot Map Editor, the Mod Tools Document, the Map Editor Walkthrough, the Story Mode, and Tutorials, I'm pretty sure is what that says. But yeah, those are helpful for getting started. Those are actually what I used, along with the few videos I was able to find on this. That's kind of why I'm making my own. Um, so yeah, let's get into the map editor. Okay, so, it's kind of a normal looking interface. It looks kind of outdated, that's from 2006. Um, but yeah, you have what look, PSP normal options, helpful icons. Now, everything from here this way probably isn't like many interfaces that you use. Yeah, but these are what you use to interact with objects once we start making the map. Um, and these kind of give you different menus to change stuff about the map. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new map here. You can go here and click new space, or you can click new, and um, that'll always make a ground map though. So if you want a space map, you're going to have to click over here, new space, which is what we want, and we don't want to save changes. So, um, the map type, um, I'm not sure that this really matters, but we're just going to go ahead and click space. Faction owner, again, don't think it matters, I think this is what, um, it defaults units and stuff to. Um, I always do this, but that doesn't, that seems to just be rebels, um, I don't even know what to tell you. I just pick one, and then um, map player mode. We want this multiplayer, just because that gives us the most choices. Like if you want um, a map that only three AI can play, on, that only three slots, you just do three. Single player player mode is standard with four, but in case. You can figure out how to get multiplayer working. I'm not sure if it does since Game Spy shut down. But if it does, let's make it an 8 player map. Map levels, I don't think this applies to space, but just in case it does, we'll set it as 1. Um, map name. Now, this is very critical because it cannot be changed once you type any of this in. So, um, we're going to name this map a map brilliant name brilliant name the planet the planet name actually does not change the name of the thing that appears above the map that tells you what planet you're on that is done when you actually give the file a name alright and then MP game types. I already have your dimensions, which I don't know how big of a map you want to make. What it defaultly lands on is about the size of two executor star destroyers. It's a little shorter than that, so that can kind of give you a perspective. If you haven't played the game at all and you don't know how big that is, um, I really don't know what to tell you. It's probably about the length of. I, I don't know what else to reference. Um, that was what I measured it in, so that's not helpful, sorry. Um, but I like to make my maps a little bit bigger 
and then if I enter, it'll automatically change the other one, so the map stays symmetrical. Now, border size, is, I understand it, it's the playable map area outside of what is shown on the screen. So you know how sometimes you can get units that go outside of the map and then come back in? I think that's what this is. So if you don't want them to be able to do that at all, you can set it to zero. I think 400 is a good point for it because it's not like huge and it's not tiny. So I'm just going to leave it at the default and then let's do this and it should. I don't know why it's blue screen, it's usually gray, but um, it is. And I was talking about the border size because um, here it is. This yellow line is the playable map area and this purple line is the border. So nothing can go outside of this purple line. But stuff can go in, inside of it. You probably want to keep it all inside the yellow line. And you really want to keep it with well within the yellow line. Just because if you've ever done anything with animation, you know there's like the no object zone where you don't really want anything important to happen. So all your important stuff you want definitely a little bit within this yellow box. Um, you obviously don't have to use everything here, it kind of seems like a lot. The bare minimum stuff you'll need is, you'll need the markers for this for forces of corruption, it's team base position and team spawn point marker, and you'll need those for um, at least team 0 and team 1 if you're making a free player map, you'll also need it for team 2, and then if you're making a Empire at War just vanilla game map, you're going to want to use the player one. So, we'll come back to those. The multiplayer structures is again for forces of corruption. So, this object, you come up here and you click this, and then you can left click. And how I'm moving around is I right click, and you can move around, and if you control right click, you can rotate. Um, yeah, and um, there's supposed to be a little purple thing that shows you where you are. Um, the right mouse button and you can see where your cursor is. Um, just place the object down. Yeah. Um, that's a little too close to the corner, so instead of control Z and replacing it, which is one way you can do it, you can also go to sample mode and you can click it and drag it once it's been placed. That might be easier to get into the perfect spot. And then and we can go down here and there's a lot more options. If you really want to, if you know like precisely where you want it, you can input it with numbers. Um, you want to on a neutral and then you can also play with the rotation a bit. Um, I kind of liked it where it was. Let's see if we can get back there. Close enough. You can also tilt it on the other two axes. Yeah, so you just do those for all the factions. Um, space props is another thing you need and this has like things like planet backdrops which, so you see um down here also there's random angles on um if you turn that off it'll always be at zero 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 for all the rotation i'm gonna leave it actually i'm gonna leave it off for this because i want it to be perfectly fine um i'm gonna put this up oh, gotta go back into the object place mode and then i'm gonna drop it right about there. Now as you can see since I zero, zero is the center. So if I played it placed it at zero, zero, it'll be in the precise center of the map. That's gonna be really handy for getting objects to the center like planet. So objects you'll need is um you can also find the asteroid fields in here, which work like you think it would. Um, you can also individual asteroids, there are other planet, more planet backdrops. Then you have your nebulas and you have your ion, you have non-ion nebulas. Ion nebulas, the ones that take out the shields, and the normal nebulas just take out unit abilities. A squadron, which is where you can just place a normal squadron down. I don't typically use this, then again, I'm not building like specific batters I want you to have, I'm building like multiplayer skirmish maps, is what I typically build, and that's what my mo map pack consists of. Bases, you're gonna need these if you wanna do, um, you're gonna wanna use these skirmish level 1s, I'm pretty sure, if you're doing a standard Empire wall map. And you're gonna just wanna put those in, make sure they're on the right faction and put those in where you want them. Um, unique units is 
um, how you place in, like, the special Star Destroyers, like, you got Captain Piet, Admiral Thrawn, you got things like the Orc Hammer, you got things like the Eclipse Star Destroyer, which doesn't have a texture, but I'm, I might just put this in real quickly, just, help oh, just to show you what ship that is, that's this one, um, it's the one that's under construction on Kuat, spoilers if you haven't beat the game. This unit is where you get your um, normal one. Death Con means that it's about it's destroyed. Um, which is how you can do like the crash ships you sometimes see in asteroid fields. Yeah, you would just put a Death Con in and assign it to no faction. If you want like them to start with an acclimator ship for some reason, you can just do that and assign it to whatever team you want to start with it. Um. Yeah, it's just that simple. Secondary structures is the other category we need. This is where you can find all your uh, gravity generators and your hut asteroid bases, which kind of make the maps more dynamic. And docks also here. Um, space build pads. The, the defense satellite laser pad is the one that will actually allow you to build anything. If you want just missiles, it's the missile pad. But I would all always use the satellite like laser pod for the normal one. I know that's kind of confusing but that's what it is and then the mining mining facilities. Yeah I forgot one marker that you'll need is the pretty sure it's the bombing one position. In-game bombing run marker I think is where the super weapons come from so we just put this right there not you can yell at me and please let the people on the website know what the actual one is if I was wrong on that. Um, I'm gonna show you the sky domes real quickly now that we're at the end of it. Um, we're just gonna add low stars and then green orange and as you can see that transformed it from a blue background to something that actually looks like what you might find out in space. Uh, got one thing we're gonna come back down to these um, team base position marker you're just gonna want to put that as close as you possibly can to where your station is if you do do a map with multiple stations just kind of pick a spot that kind of represents where the team is you could also do it right in front but um, we only need one of those and then spawn point marker just place those um, if you place multiple it's gonna divvy them up between them now we're going to save it, save as, now you're going to want to make sure this goes to a folder outside of the game which it currently is going to, I'll show, I'll kind of explain that as we're going, we're just going to call this, um, whatever we want to call it, how you're actually going to want to install this is this will work. close that down, now you'll want to use a LucasArts shortcut or if you don't have that just go to the LucasArts section of your computer then go into Star Wars Empire 12 Forces of Corruption and Data then you should see a custom map folder you can go ahead and open that up open up your external custom map folder you're just gonna drag this one in drop it in it'll ask to say you need to provide administrative permission to move this folder click continue and there you go, you've installed your map. If you want to see like what a fully curated map looks like, we can just go ahead and in game real quickly. All right. And we're back in game. I'm just gonna show you what a good, what a finished map looks like. This is one of my custom maps. The map itself looks all right. Cause you see I have um, ships here. These are Kadobi battleships. Um, you got all kinds of stations, you got the um, pad ready for action. Each faction has three space stations and a hot asteroid base. And you see the mining facilities and the asteroid fields and a planet. Um and yeah, this is just kinda what a good map looks like and um what a finished map looks like. And I have um turrets all along the side of here, let me just show you. That we have station under attack. Star Viper if you can see, I can build all three options because I use the one 
They would laser pad, if you remember. Please repeat the communication. Alright, so, have a good day.